Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Divine Masculine. Let's get started. So this is your um, daily reading. It's coming a little bit late. If it gets uploaded tonight, hopefully. What time is it? I might be able to upload. I'm going to film it tonight. Whether or not it gets updated, it gets um, on the page tonight or not, I don't know. But whatever. I'm doing a daily one for Divine Masculines. And I'm committed because I'm doing it in this hotel room. If you're wondering why I'm in the hotel room, you go watch my blog. I have a new blog on my blog channel. It's also going to get uploaded, hopefully. Okay, so we got the Hierophant and the Temperance card. Hello. Big energy coming out here, out the gate. Someone is being long-term and being patient. What is this? The track to fall out in the sun. Ooh, y'all getting all big cards. I know you can't see them from all the way back here, but there's the Hierophant, Temperance, and the sun. So, I don't really do Zodiac in this, but I will just say it briefly for whatever reason. They're telling me, say Zodiac. So, there's Taurus, Sagittarius, and Leo. Okay. Um, you may be in spirit class right now. Or you may be um, trying to be in spirit class. Let me look. This is my Obsidian Scrying Mirror I just got. I'm really excited about this. I literally backed up the camera and have this weird setup just so, so I can look in this mirror and y'all can see I'm looking in the mirror and not just looking at something random. Ooh. Yeah, you guys are in spirit class. Whether you know it or not, or whether you like it or not, you're in spirit class. You're learning some things. Okay. With this temperance, be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. The sun is coming. The sun is coming. Happiness is coming. Abundance is coming. Be patient with yourself. It's wait, it is, I don't, I'm not going to say it's waiting on you to do the work, but <coughs> it's like, it's not waiting on you, but you do it's like it's coming for you. Uh -oh. oh, card. Was that four of cups in reverse? Yeah, this offer is coming. And this time you're not going to refuse it. Or maybe you're going to offer and it's not going to get refused. One of the two. Depending on who your person is. Because somebody may be ready and somebody um, may be like, you got to come to me. So... Is whichever applies to your situation, they've got the chariot here, okay? Somebody's ready to go to somebody, okay? That's the cancer card. Now, I really felt like something fell, and then I don't see none down here. I was just seeing flying cards, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, there's movement ready to be made. The question is, is it actually going to be made? King of Wands. Okay, so this could be um, fire sign energy. This is just someone who's really, really passionate. So who, whatever you're moving to or whoever you're moving toward, you're really, really passionate about them. Um, so this is so far, we're at two Leos. <laughs> I'm going to keep a Zodiac counter. When I do these, when it's big cards like this, we're going to keep a Zodiac counter. So one Taurus, one Sag, two Leos, and a Cancer. So far. You seem like a ding. <laughs> I need to figure out how to do that when you get one of those, um, like, counters on the video. I hope this is a good angle. I can't even see. I just, you know, I put it on the chair. and You probably don't want me to see the top of my head. But whatever. It's just going to be what it's going to be. Is this Seven of Cups? It was Seven of Cups! <coughs> so with it being in reverse, there's a choice, right? 
you may have had many options, but now you're choosing. Or you don't feel like you have any other choice but this other person. The em yes, you have no other choice but to become the emperor. The emperor. Okay, so now we're up to in two Aries, two Leos. <laughs> I count the King of Wands as Aries, Leo, and oh well, I just if I'm saying that then um, we're at a Taurus, two Sages, two Leos. Two Aries, a Cancer, and now a Virgo with the Hermit. Yeah. So I think you understand and you realize that this latent energy, this latent Emperor energy is inside of you. It's just, it's hermiting inside of you. And with the Three of Cups that just fell out here, you're, you need to reconnect with it. And also reconnect with um, your person as well. Divine Feminine or Karmic or whatever. Um, you know, the thing is about it is, is that for these readings, um, a lot of people, if you look up Divine Mass and Divine Feminine, they're with the karmic, they're with the, a karmic does not necessarily mean the person is bad, okay? Just because someone's a karmic doesn't mean they're bad, doesn't mean they're horrible, doesn't mean they're, you know, like demon sent or something. A karmic just means that they're just sent to, to teach you a karmic lesson, right? They're not a karmic person. You were in a karmic situation, learning a karmic lesson from this relationship. Not so, like, don't think that when someone says, oh, you're leaving the karmic, that you're just like, well, I mean, my karmic's been good to me. We got married, blah, blah, blah. It's not just, like, it doesn't mean they're a bad person, right? But you also need, are reuniting with that latent emperor energy inside yourself in this whole stack, really. Yes, because you want the Four of Wands. And you're trying to come in obsessed with the Nine of Cups. For Nine of Cups. The Knight and the Nine of Cups. And I feel like you're afraid with the Six of Swords to say anything. You're really afraid to say something. Page of Wands in reverse. Maybe the last time this person saw you or the last time you had an attempt, you were a page. But now you're trying to get to Emperor Energy with this King of Wands here. It's like you're you're at maybe King you're maybe at King of Wands, you're maybe going towards the King of Wands. But you're an Emperor Energy. Or you realize your Emperor Energy is in there. But this is a lot of major arcana that came off the first pop, uh, first row here. With this Nine of Cups could be any um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And it could be any um, Fire Sign again with this Page of Wands. So Fire Signs are at two. Aries and Sagittarius. Well, actually I should say. No. Fire Signs all have three different representations. So... Whoever divine masculine, you must, um, if you're a fire sign, I got fire somewhere in your chart, um, the fire's getting lit up under your ass. We got the Ten of Cups. Yeah. You want to reunite and create some, some happiness in your life. I'm surprised, uh, if the Empress comes out, I think that will really just confirm everything that I'm thinking about right now. Yes, the Tower and the King of Pentacles. So, with this... You're having a moment with this tower, and then this King of Pentacles could be an Earth sign. Oh, Lord. And then here we go with Leo again with the Strength card and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so you may have been the King of Pentacles, slow moving but stable, and stably trying to better yourself. I'm getting that you've been stably trying to better yourself. I know last reading we were talking about your family life. But this reading, I think you... It, this could be a different person. Or this could be the same person. But there's a different energy here. There's the energy of... Pulling... I need to pull forward and not hide. Maybe the last reading, y'all watched it and you was like, Oh no, this bitch done pride too much into my life now. I just better just open my mouth. Because I do dig. Okay. 
Um, it could be a Leo with the strength card, but I'm just getting you getting Leo strength to be confident and just to, uh, um, approach something, say something. And this Ten of Pentacles here, you want to build an abundant life, right? It's like, it's, it's really like, I feel like it's around the corner in some sense. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles, please. Oh, I'm I've been driving all night. Yeah. You working for it. You working on the money. And I think you realizing that working on the money without having someone to share it with is just looking at a bank account. It may be nice, but it's not what's getting you where you want to go. Any other cards, spirit? Any other cards for divine masculine to the daily divine masculine reading? This is different. Usually I'm crying. Maybe I got too deep, or maybe because I'm not in my own home set up. It's just like, oh, what if I can do all that extra? Sorry, y'all. I am going to pull a light seers, a um, couple cards here, just to switch up. I just, I feel like there's something that needs to be said. And I'm trying to figure out what. And I'm looking in the mirror, it's like, yes, it does, but what? And we got this King of Cups here. It kind of came out sideways, so I don't know if that's whatever, but it... Mm. Have you mastered your emotions? With this uh, King of Cups and Eight of Cups in reverse, have you mastered your emotions or are you stuck? Do you feel like you're stuck on somebody? This could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Maybe you're stuck on somebody. This could be your karmic. Um, this could be your divine counterpart. But the Empress didn't come out yet. Yeah, and the King of Wands came back out again. So you're really... Um... What's the word for it? I don't want to say obsessed. Because obsessed is the wrong word. But you're really drawn and attracted magnetized that's the word i'm looking for magnetized yeah so you're watching mm -hmm. with this page of swords you're watching i guess maybe to see when the right time to come in is but here's the thing have you done your work mm -hmm. you're trying to figure when the right time to come in is because we got another chariot out here so cancer's out here twice or three times if you count that king of uh, cups. Uh, you know what? I can't even do Zodiac for this. So this is confusing to me if I do Zodiac for this. So uh, I'm sorry if y'all really do want Zodiac in these. But I, I get confused off of it. There's too many different energies. There's too many different divine masculines doing different things. It's just, you know. Why are we not walking? Why are we not going towards? Why are we not venturing? Seven of Wands. In reverse. The inner fight? Oh, no, you're on guard. Yeah, on guard, Eight of Wands. You're on guard, so you don't want to move forward. Oh, God. Yeah, Ten of Wands and Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so you fear that even though you've grown, you feel like you haven't grown enough. And you're still going to have to struggle with growth. I mean, we all struggle with growth. No matter how much um, we go through, we all struggle with growth. And the tower again. So you're just gonna keep getting towers on towers on towers, I'm I'm feeling until all your realizations that need to be made are made. 
So it's probably going to be a really, really, really tough time for you. Um, we have Nine of Wands, the Moon in Reverse, Three of Wands, Judgment in Reverse, and Six of Wands. So with this, you're determined to... You're determined to not show your feelings and you're walking, a, trying to, you, you think that you're winning by walking away from your self-reflection. But honey, you're not winning anything when you walk away from self-reflection. Yeah, you were really, you think you're winning. I don't even know who you're trying to fight, but you really think you're winning. Oh, Queen of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Ha! Oh my God, you thinking you're winning this battle of of communicate of non communication? You think it's okay? So, Queen of Swords is the cutthroat, logical, you know, whatever. And y'all must really think, you know, y'all doing something if you think that you're gonna win over her. And we got two of pentacles here with the ace of pentacles, yeah. So you want some you want something new and stable. Are you gonna make that choice? You kinda know what you have to do. You have to cut someone out. It's in you at this point in time, after all the different knowledge that you may have picked up, because you are picking up knowledge with these towers, both the towers from both different decks. You're going to keep getting realizations that keep, you know, you're going to start knowing what's up. And the more and more you know what's up, the more and more it's going to be clear you have a choice. If it's not already clear that you have a choice. And whatever choice you make, you're going to have to stand by it wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. If you choose whatever choice you decide to make, you have to stand by it wholeheartedly. But you can definitely get a good life with becoming this emperor. Do you have the balls to do it? That's the question. That's necessarily, now some divine masculines may be feminine, but, uh, excuse me, maybe females, but still, you've got the balls. Okay, okay, for real. All right, y'all, this has been the daily one. I'm going to do maybe one more and then call it quits because I'm already on it. Okay. And I'm hungry. I knew I should have got food. Oh, here it is. This is that one.